Hello everybody, uh, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the mid-month love reading for all zodiac signs. I do want to apologize uh, for being a little bit late on the uploads. As I've been explaining in all my videos, I've been so extremely busy, it's not even funny. Um, I'm trying the best I can to balance everything out. It's becoming a bit, um, a bit challenging, nonetheless we're doing it. Uh, so I again want to apologize. For those of you guys that are interested in private consultations, definitely look at the description box below. For those of you guys who have contacted me through email, through all social media outlets, um, in regards to uh, candle magic, spell work, anything to do with manifestations um, and so on, thank you guys very much. It truly humbles me and makes me so thrilled and excited to see how quickly you guys are actually getting results blessed be thank you guys very much and again like i said it truly truly humbles me thank you guys so much for supporting for each and every single one of you guys that watches my videos you guys know that you guys are truly appreciated i truly thank you guys uh you guys keep me extremely busy and again thank you guys uh very much so let's get into this reading and let's see what spirit has for you guys for the mid month of november 2017 this is for sagittarius sun moon and rising I will be pulling out four cards for you and then four cards for your partner and the current situation of the relationship. Let, let's get into this reading. Spirit, what are the messages for Sagittarius, mid month of November 2017, regarding their love and romance? Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Okay. Let's get into it. Sag, you have the Seven of Cups. You have the King of Swords. You have the Ten of Swords. And your card, the Temperance card. Partners cards is the Six of Cups. The Nine of Cups. The Seven of Wands. And the Chariot card current situation is the karma card all right Sagittarius what's going on with you guys I know you guys have had an extremely hard or difficult year as it seems you guys have been the most challenged uh, I think Sagittarius Aquarius and Aries are the ones that have been the most challenged for this year um, and the karma card again it is the judgment card so what this represents is I definitely do see a lot of people from your past coming back into your life, um, not necessarily to, um, you know, make something happen or to pick up things where they left off. No, the reason why this karma card is coming out is because you're finally being uh, given the opportunity for those of you guys that have been or ended a relationship and the person just kind of walked out of you. This could even be a partner previous to the one you have uh, that walked out of the relationship and almost not gave you some type of closure. Uh, the karma card is here to tell you that yes, judgment will be made and this person is definitely coming back into your life, but they're finally coming back into your life so you can finally put that to rest. So you can finally detach yourself from the past and be able to move forward, okay? Now, for those of you guys that have been or are in a committed uh, long-term relationship, the karma card can also represent having to deal with past traumas. So what I mean by past traumas, it could be if you in the past have been a cheater, if you in the past have had or have stepped out of the relationship uh, for the middle of the month going into December, I want to say that all the way to the third week of December, you guys are going to be challenged. Uh, you guys are going to be put in circumstances that perhaps at one point you put someone else in those situations and it's almost testing you, almost putting you to a test to see um, if you actually learned your lesson and if almost getting you out of that selfish mode or uh, the freedom mode. I know Sagittarius need a lot of freedom, uh, but I feel that this is definitely going to challenge you, but not in a negative way, but in a positive to bring out the best in you. Okay, so this is definitely necessary. So anyways, let's get into your reading. You have the seven of cups here. This is how you see the, the relationship or the current situation in regards to love and romance. Now you have the seven of cups. There's definitely opportunities and there's definitely having options, but not being able to see the options very clearly based on um, illusions. So this could represent you dealing with two people. 
as I do see the King of Swords here, the King of Swords could represent an air sign. An air sign would be an Aquarius, a Libra, or a Gemini. And I also see um, temperance is here, so it could represent you or it could represent another Sagittarius. And of course, the Seven of Cups can represent a water sign. So water sign would be a Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. And I feel that it's uh, there is someone that you've been dealing with, but it's almost like there's not close communication to that person. It could be a person you met online. It could be a person that you have yet to meet in person. And I feel that this person is definitely almost kind of like... Um, really selling or putting themselves out there as to be the best partner you can possibly have but you're not being you're not really being grounded Sagittarius you're not really seeing things for what they really are it this is based off of illusion so you have to know uh really put focus and really put um I put your feet on the ground and really understand if in fact you are dealing with the person you have yet to meet please understand and know if this person is you know if they are local um now is the time to you know bring it up and hey you know it's time for us to actually take it to the next level and meet uh hang out whatever it may be because i feel that you're not challenging them enough now you do have the king of swords here the king of swords could represent again like i said an air sign and there's the ten of swords so the ten of swords is definitely representing an ending so there was an ending with a person it could have been a person that you were dealing with in the past or it could be a recent lover that you currently no longer are dealing with. Um, the Ten of Swords definitely, again, like I said, with the Karma card, and I also see the Six of Cups here, th that person is definitely coming back into your life. Now, if this person was the one that did you wrong, Sagittarius, um, they're going to come back, you know, feeling, uh, you know, understanding and knowing that they did you wrong, almost with an apology. Um, but understand and know that, you know, a lot of the times when people come back into our lives again like i said initially in the beginning it's not necessarily because oh it's meant to be or it's not precisely because oh we're going to be given a second chance no it's more so because you're being tested to see things for what they really are to not hold grudges and to actually move on uh it's almost like the past coming back into life but only so you can finally put it to rest okay i hope that makes sense for you guys now, for those of you guys that are currently in a relationship or in a long-term committed relationship, um, I feel that there's an ending cycle to this relationship in regards to struggles, in regards to not being completely honest to one another. It could be you or your partner, doesn't matter. I definitely do see that there's been a lot of struggles and a lot of miscommunication as the Seven of Cups could be scattered energy. Um, for you guys, if it's you or if it's your partner, the one that doesn't have, you know, you guys are currently not working. It could be you have too much time in your hands and almost having or starting things in your head. Almost like um, if your partner happens to work a little bit more over time, whatever it may be, it's like your head starts jumping to conclusions right away and you start uh, steering basically the pot like we say uh, and it's not necessarily because you're tapping into intuition it's more so because you have scattered energy you're just not really you know being productive this could be your partner as well please keep that in mind it is a general reading it could represent you or your partner now i definitely do see balance by the end of the month and new opportunities coming in in regards to love and romance for those of you guys that have been single for quite a while again like i said i definitely do see a person from your past coming back into your life but by the end of the month you're definitely going to be balanced your feet are going to be on the ground and you're going to be able to see clearly and understand that if they are coming back into your life um, it could be because, again, uh, they just want to know that they're able, they're still capable of, you know, walking into your life whenever they feel like it. But I feel that you're going to be grounded by the end of the month where you will be able to, again, like I said, face the past, but actually be able to put it to rest, cut the cord and move forward. I do see new opportunities for those of you guys that are single at the present time. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with an air sign. It may be a friend, someone that is close to your uh social circle this is a person that will be confessing emotions or feelings for you uh for some of you sagittarius as well it could be that you are thinking of a person from the past um perhaps a missed opportunity uh, a person that was a friend of yours but you didn't really jump into the opportunity of making it something more structured 
or more stable. Uh, you more stable i definitely do see uh coming around a full circle and them being able to express or you being able to express the feelings you have for them as the six of cups does reveal a person from the past and the nine of cups emotional fulfillment um it could also represent a wish so if some of you guys that again like i said if you're dealing with someone from the past you were hoping that they would you know reach out to you because you miss them because you never ended quite understood why they walked away whatever it may be i definitely do see a full circle coming back okay but again please note and understand if this is a person that walked away from you sagittarius do not you know don't put your eggs in a basket that is broken okay um know and understand that sometimes it is necessary for universe to test us in order to to see if we can actually stick to what we say we want in, in regards to love and romance. So if you say you want someone that knows exactly what they want, a person that is going to be, um, you know, have a lot of commonalities with you and bring out the best in you. And then, you know, sometime around, they bring you a person from the past that was very toxic for you. Did you learn your lesson? Ultimately, that's what it means. So please note and understand that. You do have, or the partner does have the seven of wands here. So I feel that they are definitely guarded. Um, again, if you're dealing with the person that walked away from you, they will come in uh, very slowly trying to communicate with you. But I don't feel that they're going to be breaking the door telling you, oh, I love you or I miss you. I feel that they're very slowly going to be taking steps towards you. Finally, by the end of the month, you have here the chariot card. And the chariot card is all about success and triumph, but it also represents uh, being able to get to a point where you're able to move forward without looking back, okay? There is definitely an ending of a cycle here as the Ten of Swords is very present next to the karma card. So it's necessary for us, for those of you guys that are single, again, like I said, there's definitely a promise for emotional fulfillment as you do have the Six of Cups, the Nine of Cups, and finally the Chariot card. Now, I do feel that for some of you guys that have been single for a while, the Seven of Wands could represent that you come off a little bit too strong in regards to dating. So try the best you can. I'm not saying completely bring down your wall, but don't be so... Um, don't be so challenging or try you the best you can not to be not to come off very intimidated. I'm almost feeling the energy of an Aries. So it's, you know, Aries are very strong headed. Um, you guys are definitely the same element fire. But I feel that Aries could come off because they're very bold. They could come off very strong. And I feel that that's the energy you're taking on for the mid month of November going all the way to December. So just be careful not to come off very strong or intimidate other people, because I feel that that's a part of the insecurity that you guys have you feel you have to be strong um not necessarily because you want to be seen as strong but more so because it's your normal defensive mechanism uh just for people not to perceive you or see you as weak so again it's all about balance for you guys okay so i hope this makes perfect sense to you guys if you guys are interested in private consultations definitely look at the description box below and you'll be able to find my contact information on there. We will see each other um, soon. Okay, bye.